Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animation with text and shapes. Firstly, I'm creating a large canvas. I'm keeping it as 1920 pixel wide and 1080 pixels height. Now, because I want the background to be nice, in preparation for that, I'm changing the background color to black. To do this, go to Edit, Fill, change the contents used to black and click OK. Then go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, keep amount at 400%, Distribution at Gaussian and Monochromatic Ticked, then click OK. Now duplicate the background layer by pressing Ctrl and J. This has created layer 1, but I am going to disable the layer, so it's not visible. Then making sure background layer is selected, I am going to add blur filter. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, change to 0 0.5 pixels and click OK. Now I am going to activate the levels window. To do this press Ctrl and L. Once window pops up, change the left stop to about 200, middle one to around 40, then click OK. Now I am going to make layer 1 visible and repeat the same steps. Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, 2 pixels and click OK. Then again, Ctrl and L for the Labels window. Then change left stop to 170 and right stop to 172 and click OK. So now I want to apply the Blur filter to these white speckles. Make sure layer 1 is selected. Then again, go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. 1 pixels and click OK. Moving on. Now I am going to activate the channel panel and click on the little circle button. This has selected all the white speckles which are now twinkling. Go back to Layers tab and delete Layer 1. Then create a new layer and fill it in white. To do this, go to Edit, Fill, White and click OK. To deselect the speckles, select, deselect. Now, I'm going to add some effects. Click on layer style icon, outer glow. Make sure it is set to color white here and the blend mode is normal and size 10 pixels. Then click OK. Then merge both layers. Go to layer, merge visible. Now create another layer and fill it with black go to edit fill black and click ok then i'm going to add clouds go to filter render clouds then change layer blend mode to color dodge now to create another layer beneath layer 1 Select background layer and click create new layer icon. Once layer 2 has been created, select the brush tool. Then change the color to your preference. Then change the brush opacity to about 16%. I am also changing the brush type to a soft edge brush. Then to make the brush size bigger, Use square brackets on your keyboard and start painting. 
I'll be switching to different colors to get the effect that I am after. Feel free to choose any color. Once you are happy with how it's looking, it's time to merge all three layers. Go to layer, merge visible. Then create another layer and rename it to star. Select the brush tool if it's not already selected and choose the star shaped brush and change the opacity to 100%. Also change the foreground color to white. To do this, press D so it's changed to default colors. Then press X to switch the colors. So white is foreground color. Use square brackets on your keyboard to draw different sized stars on the canvas. And start painting. Now that we are done with painting, we can add some text. Select the text tool, your desired font and size and type your text. I'm writing happy then clicking the confirmation mark and then to follow I'm creating another text layer as I want each word to be a separate layer of its own. Use the move tool to position the text where you like. It's now time to add some effects to our text. I'm starting off with everyone text layer. Then right click, blend in options. Select gradient overlay. Gradient. Change the left color stop. And right color stop then click reverse then select outer glow change the color of glow i'm going for aqua blue then change spread percentage to about 17 and size to 20 pixels i'm also selecting the bevel and embossed effect then change the direction to down and size to 6 pixels. Lastly select the drop shadow effect. Here you can experiment then click OK. Now I'm going to apply the same layer style to all the other layers. First right click and select copy layer style. Right click on a different text layer and select paste layer style. Repeat this for each text layer. You can minimize the layer style menu by clicking on this arrow so it's easier to see all the layers. I have 6 layers in total so I'm going to add the timeline tool, windows, timeline. As I have 6 layers, I am going to add 5 more frames here for each layer I have. I am setting the frame time to 0 0.5 seconds here. I am keeping it set to forever. Then selecting the first frame. I'm going to disable all layers apart from the background layer. Moving on to the second frame, I'm making sure only the first two layers are visible. Then for frame 3, only the first three layers are visible and so on and so forth. Repeat this until all your layers are visible by the end of the frame. You can play your animation to test it out. Finally, once you are done having fun with it, save it in web format. Then you will be able to use it on social media platforms and all. 
so that was my animation tutorial hope you have had fun creating and learning with me thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe also feel free to leave any suggestions for more videos you would like to see